Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be talking about the directory structure and file system of a Linux system, um, and also in this case, Red Hat. So first things we're going to do here is we're just not going to do that. We're going to actually open up terminal, and then we're going to do this. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Um, and last time we learned about ls, um, it shows our directories that are in our uh, current working directory so we can print the working directory like this um, but today we're going to talk about tree which tree does a similar thing but uh, it creates a, a nicer uh, output or human readable output and one of the best things about tree is that it does um, it shows what they call the connection between the directories as well um, and then so we can do this so one of the things I want to talk about is uh, ls again here so we're gonna list all here Let's not do that. Rather, let's just do this all. So, I want to talk about these dots here. So, the dot represents our current working directory, and then the dot dot here represents the parent directory of the current directory. So, it'll be in our minds, it'll be like moving backwards. So, if we do this, this, or uh, CD dot dot it takes us back one and if we ls we can see here now we can see the learner um, and then so that's something that we can explore a little bit more so for example we have these and we should see them here with the all because they're hidden by default we can do uh, we can do this as well right so we can put this dot and it'd be like the same thing okay so let's go back one more and do that. And so now we're in the root directory. So if we do PWD, we'll see a forward slash there. And then this forward slash is important because uh, this is the start or the beginning of the file system. And so if we do a tree here, right, and we just do that, you'll see a lot of output. And don't be alarmed, it's a lot of output. Uh, we can control C and it'll cancel it and let's do control L to clear the screen and then uh, one thing to clean up the output we can do here is uh, just to show for example directories only right it's still gonna show a lot of output but it's just gonna be directories and again we're gonna see a lot of output because this is what we call the beginning of the file system Right? And here we can see 21,000 directories, right? So it's control L to clear this up. Um, so one thing to tame it a little bit more is gonna be to put this dash L and one. And this says um, the, the level that you want to explore, right? How deep do you wanna go into the, the tree from the current directory? So we can do here, right? And boom. So this is a way cleaner, way easier to read. Uh, let's explore level two, like this. Right, so now it's only showing 500 directories, right? So if we scroll up a little bit, we can see the connections uh, from our command here, down to boot, show those files there. It goes down, we can see dev, it goes down, Etsy, and then we keep going down and home. And then so it gives us a good visual about what the connections are in the file system hierarchy, okay? And then I can even zoom out a little bit just to, to get a little bit cleaner view here. And again, still a lot of output, but like I said, the reason for that being is that we're at the top of the directory, okay? The very beginning. So we have control L one more again, I'll zoom back in here. Um, so that's our current working directory, right? But what if you just didn't want to do everything that was in there? So we can apply an argument to um, this directory. So we can do like Etsy, right? We can do that. That's a lot of output. Let's try another one. Let's do var, right? And so var. So then if we wanted to see a little bit more, we can put level two like this. And then we can see the connections for those files as well. So we can see there's a lot of output for var as well. So cache, and we can go down, db, lib has a lot of files under it, local, log, 
Um, and so these, this is very good for representing the, the hierarchy here. So some other uh, situations for var, we can even put like something else, right? So there to show the options, I just did uh, forward slash, and then I put tab tab, and then that would bring up uh, the available directories um, in there. So we can do, we want to do a count, right? We can do that, count zero directories, nothing in there, right? So we can control L. And that's just a way of exploring the file system with using tree. And um, I left links in the description as well, uh, showing uh, some more information and links to the official Red, Red Hat website, um, as well as a Wikipedia page uh, talking about the standard and the file system hierarchy standard. Um, and that's all, that's all I have for today. Um, that's all I wanted to explore. So if you have any questions or anything, just comment below. Thank you.